Hello students, hope you are safe in your respective houses. So, in the last previous units, we have discussed about the various surface runoff that deals in the engineering hydrology. Now, we move to the unit 4th, that is the groundwater. So, what is the groundwater? We know that the subsurface water forms a critical input in the sustenance of the life and vegetation in the arid zones. Do you know what is the percentage of the groundwater available in the world's fresh water resources? That is 30%. So, totally important as equal to the surface water. So, we have the various sources of the groundwater. Groundwater is derived from precipitation and the recharge of the uh, recharge from the surface water. Two main sources are there that is precipitation first precipitation means rainfall and recharge from various surface water which includes the stream or natural bodies water bodies and artificial recharge due to action of the man. Some of the other sources of the groundwater recharging are there just like the melting of the snow and ice rivers and stream already discussed that comes under the natural water bodies and the artificial canals also we have the various forms of the subsurface water that is saturated zone zone of aeration soil water zone capillary fringe intermediate zone first we have the diagram this is the basic diagram of the subsurface the different uh, subsurface water classification in different zones so as you see above the ground level vegetation and below the ground level all the zones that is soil water intermediate capillary groundwater and in internal water now we see one by wise one by one we are so going to see saturated zone the zone also known as the groundwater zone is the space in which all the pores of the soil are filled with water as you see in the diagram or uh, in this groundwater zone all the pores are filled with the water so that that is the zone of that comes under the zone of saturation saturation is completely filled with water all the pores are completely filled with the water that is the saturated zone zone of aeration in this zone the soil pores are only partially uh, partially saturated with the water this is the zone of aeration in which some of the pores are filled with the water and some are filled with the air partially filled with the water because soil water is present intermediate water and capillary zone that are present this capillary zone is not filled with the water so the pores available in the capillary zone are filled with air and above that the pores available in soil water and intermediate zone are the filled with water now soil water zone this lies close to the ground surface in the major root band of the vegetation from the, the water is lost to the atmosphere by evaporation that means all the vegetation above the ground level the roots of the vegetation that comes up to the soil water and the soil water is only responsible for the growing of the vegetation uh, and the water will be taken up by the roots for the growing of this vegetation the soil water the water if we can evaporate like in the hot summer the land will become uh, dry so that dryness will comes from the soil water only capillary fringe this zone extend from the water table upwards to the limit of the capillary rise means this is the intermediate zone between the water table and this above water and it act as a intermediate portion similarly intermediate zone the thickness of the zone of aeration and its consequent subzones depend upon the soil texture the jis tarah ki soil hogi usi tarah ke uh, depend karega intermediate zone mein moisture content vary from region to region now two important terms are there that is infiltration and percolation so infiltration ki agar hum baat kare very minute difference is there infiltration and percolation both are the processes that move water in the pores understand that move water in the pores of the soil but 
इनफिल्ट्रेशन एंट्री ऑफ द रेन वाटर और पॉन्डेड वाटर इन टू द अर्थ सरफेस इंटरफेस इज द एसेंस ऑफ द इनफिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस द मीन्स द इंटरफेस इज इंपॉर्टेंट विच ट्रांसफर्स द वॉटर दैट वॉटर इज रेन वॉटर और द पॉन्डेड वॉटर इन टू द अर्थ सर्फेस बट परकोलेशन the descending motion of the infiltered water that means not only the rain water or the ponded water any type of the water be it like an impure water or something like that that the descending motion is uh, through the soil and the rock is called is called known as the percolation means in percolation we are not guaranteed the the water will be the only the purest form because sometime what happen like we dug the well and the impure water is coming out to so maybe the impure water percolates into the ground level and that water only came out from that now very important term is there aquifer aquifer is the formation which is a geological formation sorry aquifer is a geological formation that store transmit water from one place to another and contains a reasonable amount of the wells to supply the water with the help of reasonable amount of the wells or a formation that contains sufficient saturated permeable material to yield significant quantity of the water to wells and springs basically it's a geological unit that contains a amount of the good amount of the water and which can only be easily be fetch out with the help of these wells type of the aquifers unconfined aquifer and confined aquifer in between that semi confined aquifer is there but it is of less importance two main important aquifers are unconfined and the confined aquifer which are also known as unconfined is also known as water table aquifer and confined aquifer also known as artesian aquifers unconfined aquifer an aquifer that is close to the ground surface with continuous layers of the material of high intrinsic permeability extending from the land surface to the base of the aquifer that means the water which is closely uh, uh, placed uh, near the ground surface with continuous layers of the material of high intrinsic permeability permeability is very high so that the water can be fetched out very easily extending from the land surface to the base of the aquifer recharge from the downward seepage through the unsaturated zone three main is uh, three main methods for recharging of the unconfined is there first is the uh, through the unsaturated zone second one is the lateral ground water flow or third one is the upward seepage from underlying strata now confined aquifer the confined aquifer are overlain by a confining layer that means ki the amount of the water contained by the confined aquifer is confined by both the sides of the impermeable layer so that the water cannot be easily pass on to the adjacent strata recharge occurs in the recharge area where the aquifer crops out or by slow downward leakage through a leaky confining layer if any leakage is there in that confining layer to water can be able to recharge otherwise recharge is only possible through the where from where we can fetch out then only that is the only way to recharge that thing we can able to understand with the help of this unconfined and confined aquifer as the name suggest confined aquifer maine bataya tha aapko ki that is surrounded by both the ways with the with impermeable strata that means the water stored will not be able to pass on sorry will not be able to pass on we can dug the well in this confined aquifer and then fetch the water with the help of this flowing well or deep well an unconfined aquifer as the name suggest that is closely with the ground surface and only confined by this confining stratum from downward not upward it can be easily fetch out with this water table well artesian well a well whose surface uh, whose source of water is the confined aquifer is known as the artesian well the water level in the artesian well is at some height above the water table means the actual water table above that 
some height above the actual water table due to the pressure of the aquifer pressure of the aquifer is so much that the uh, water level in the artesian well is actually the some height above the uh, water table <clears throat> now another term is purged aquifer purged aquifer is the locally available aquifer that is not the main aquifer and we can uh, trace the amount of the water but it is very limited it cannot be as a good source of water or for a long run we cannot rely on this purged aquifer for a long run because it is locally like any impermeable layer is there and in between that locally available uh, water table is there or water amount is there but not very huge amount of the water is known as the purged aquifer it can be tap out not an issue with the quality but quantity is very less as compared to the main aquifer various confining layers are there like layering having low or low no permeability or where the permeability is very less or hydraulic conductivity similarly like the electrical conductivity one term is there hydraulic conductivity is very low based upon this we have various types of the confining layers aquifuge acute hard and acute lewd aquifuge an absolutely um, impermeable layer with that will not transmit any water means confined by the uh, impermeable strata and we cannot be uh, able to transmit any water from this aquifuge acute for acute hard is the layer of low permeability not less not zero permeability it is a low permeability that can be stored ground water and also transmit slowly from one aquifer to another also termed as leaky aquifer you can be able to understand with the help of this diagram like acu aquifuge if we can say it is not uh, acute hard and acuclude <coughs> just like this acuclude aquifer and acu aquifer is also what what is this aquifer this is a confined aquifer which is which is confined both the ways with the impermeable strata so aquifuge comes under the confined aquifer acute hard having a low permeability or a leaky aquifer we can say just like the tap water leaks from any of the tap similarly very low permeability Aquifluid, aquifluid is also a uh, low permeability, but it is located so that it forms an upper or a lower boundary to a groundwater surface. Water table, water the amount of the water available freely below the ground surface is known as the water table. A water table is the free water surface in an unconfined aquifer. what i mean to suggest in an unconfined aquifer following generalizations or assumptions are valid for that in the absence of the flow the water table will be the flat what do you mean what i mean to say ki these all the terms are required for understanding the movement of the ground water for analysis of the ground water because 30% of the shear will be from the ground water it is equally as important as the surface water a sloping water table indicates flow ground water discharges occurs in lower zone ground water generally flows from tropical highs to lows i hope you like this if you have any query you can uh, contact me this is the pictorial representation of the water table this is the saturated zone which is filled over with water the water available above that is the water table capillary fringe this is a typical well but not used nowadays so thank you very much if you feel any query you can contact me anytime thank you